glory to your name. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. If there's anybody else tonight that want to pray, glory be to God, we want you to pray. Send up your temple while you yet can. Glory be to God. Anybody want to pray tonight? Anybody? Jesus, for how you watch over God, how you protect us, God. 
God, and we plead the blood of every home, God, and we thank you, Lord, for your divine protection. We thank you, Lord, for goodness, for it shall follow us all the days of our lives, God, and we just come to worship and adore you and say thank you for being our shepherd, knowing that we shall not want God. We come, God, to say thank you, Jesus, because you said he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. Oh, God, keep us in the secret place, oh, God. Keep us covered by your blood, oh, God. Keep us looking to you, Jesus, who's the author and the finish of our faith, God. We thank you for your mercy tonight. God, we say, stir up that measure of faith tonight that you dealt to every man. And let us walk by faith tonight, God, and not by sight, oh God. We come, God, to say thank you for all that's going on in our lives, God. Things that we don't understand, but we want to say thank you tonight. And you say, God, to be careful for nothing but with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving to make our request known, God. And we come tonight, God, saying thank you for providing, God. We come, God, even thanking you for supernatural debt cancellation. Jesus. We come to thank you, Lord, for zero balance. Hallelujah. Yeah. And full, God. We come, God, to say move in our finances tonight, God. We thank you for divine increase, unexpected money, God. Oh, God, that will provide for every need, hallelujah, every household need, God. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you for we can pray tonight and say thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you for signs and wonders. And we thank you for you a miracle worker. And we thank you, Lord, for the miraculous tonight, God. We thank you for those that be healing in their body, God. Your name is healer. In the name of Jesus, there's healing. In the name of Jesus, there's deliverance. God, your name is powerful. Father, we thank you for the name of Jesus, for there's power in your name. And we praise you on tonight, God. And we just say, watch over our families all over the world, wherever they are. God, keep them and protect them and cover them with your blood, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for being a God that watches over your people. Oh, God, that hover over us, God, like the hand that covers us cheeks, oh, God. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you for being a provider. We thank you for you are Jehovah Jireh, the one that provides, God. We thank you for being Jehovah Shammah. Oh, God, because you said you're there. And Jehovah Shalom, God, you are our peace tonight, God, even in this situation and everything that's going on all over the world, God, you decree that we will have peace in the midst of the storm, and we thank you, Lord, for you are peace, God, you speak peace and bring peace, God, to every situation, God, bring healing to the families that are grieving the loss of their loved ones tonight, God, we pray that you would comfort their hearts, God. We pray that you would strengthen God. Oh, God, we pray, God, that needs would be met, God, for the barriers and all that is needed, God. We pray the provision you would provide in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we pray right now, God, for our apostle. Father, we pray that you keep in feel, God, that you keep him crying loud and sparing, not God, that you just feel them, God, and bless Lady Annette, God, and bless the family, God, and bless them with traveling mercy, and protect them, Lord, and wherever they are, they stand, God, their dwelling place, God, seal it with your blood of protection in the name of Jesus, and Lord, as they travel over the highway, God, oh, God, let the angels of the Lord encamp around about them and bring them home safely, Lord, and let the celebration be a great celebration, and Father, we pray for the daughter that's graduating, God, we pray, God, that you would forever elevate her as she climbs through the rain, God. Oh, God, and protect her, God, in the name of Jesus. And, oh, God, we thank you for elevation. We thank you, Lord, for it shall be speedily as she will climb through the rain, God. We thank you for protecting her and sealing her, God. In the name of Jesus, as she travels all over the world, God, we thank you for being with her. And we thank you, Lord, for she will ever keep her mind stayed on you. And she will be a witness wherever she goes that Jesus Christ is Lord to the 
time that we as the body of Christ begin to really line up and get in order. Amen. It's time for us to be the body real. Amen. This is why the Lord has us interceding this week. Interceding not just again for our families, our neighbors, our city or our state or just our nation, but for the world. Amen. I expect the world to be what the world going to be. But I hold the body to a higher degree. Body to a higher standard. Those that say that you are called by his name. Those that said he called you. You've been chosen. You are the peculiar one. You are the righteous of God. You are sons and daughters, heirs and joint heirs. It's too many of us that are claiming these titles. But yet still sitting back on God. It's time for us to move to the forefront. If you are who you say you are, there should be no ashamed in you. You should be coming forth. When we were in the world, people used to have to have to make you shut up. Now that you call yourself a speaker for the king, we almost got to make you open your mouth. But I, for one, am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of my Savior. He didn't done too much for me. I don't know what he done for you, but he didn't done too much for me. He don't do nothing else for me. Good God, I'm sorry. I can spend the rest of my days just laying out the platform of what he already did. I already blessed me. I already kept me. I fed me and sheltered me. Hallelujah. We must get in line. We must get in order. Our purpose must become this week. Amen. Amen. I thank God for the prayers tonight. Glory be to God. I do this in my closing. I do this because I want to always remind the body. Because if you say that you are the body, we, even, we should not even have to be reminded, but just for the sake of giving you the benefit of the doubt, sometimes you might just need to be reminded. We're supposed to be the one heralding the word. We're supposed to be the modern day John the Baptist. We're supposed to be the one that is not ashamed of the gospel. We're supposed to be the one that is crying loud and sparing not. But when we have to pull on you to pray, when we have to pull on you to be innocent, when we have to pull on you to give a testimony, amen, it makes me question where you truly go or who you claim to be really who you are. Amen. I, y'all, y'all know me, don't miss no word. I tell you just like this. It makes me question a lot of people that call themselves a, a part of the body. opportunities I get to say something about Jesus. I'm going to say I don't care how many people or how little people. I'm going to say Because I am a modern day John the Baptist. I'm going to keep hurling this word. I'm going to keep praying, keep fasting, keep marching, keep serving, keep loving. Because that was his character. We said we want to be like him. This is what we got to do. We got to stand with everybody else and say. And then even if we fall, we got to dust ourselves off and get right back up. Stop playing church. That's an old cliche that done got old with me. Playing church. Don't do this thing. Let's do it. You fuck God, be fuck God. But if you ain't for them, you might as well get them on the other side and stay on the other side. This ain't no time to be playing around. This, this, just, just look at what's happening in this country. Look at what's happening with your neighbors. 
gave us a formula, y'all. He gave us a formula. And we read that formula, been reading it every day. If my people, which are called by my name, will just humble themselves and pray. Seek him. Seek his faith. And stop this mess. Turn away from doing about faith. Go in the opposite direction. Run if you have to. And then I double that word again. Then. Then is that time word. He said, then. I'll hear from heaven. Forgive the sin. And heal the lame. Let's try to move into the then dispensation, y'all. Come on. We can go together, hand in hand. Let's move into that then dispensation. So that when we speak the word of God, it begins to manifest even as it's coming out of our mouth. Because we have then done that which was commanded of us to do. So that the Lord will move in our life. God. He gave us a form. Only thing we have to do. Here's the recipe. Here's the recipe. Grandma Gladys used to cook some of the best sweet potato pies I ever ate in my life. And people used to come all around. Gladys, what you put in your pie? Grandma Gladys just looked up and go to sneak. Give me a copy of your recipe. Grandma didn't have a recipe. Grandma had that thing in her head. But she knew the recipe, though. Mm -hmm. That produced the best pie. But good God, God gave us a recipe. He gave us a map right here. He gave us something that that could produce. Woo. Jesus. Healing for the man. Sweet uh, witness follow. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Amen. Uh, uh, before I close, I just want to ask anybody got a testimony tonight. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Anybody with a testimony tonight? Anybody have any word, word of wisdom, knowledge, prophetic word? Somebody want to pray? Somebody got a scripture you want to read before we close out? Amen. One well, person, I want to thank everybody was, that, that's praying for our traveling and mercy. God. Glory be to God. We thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for covering us with God. Amen. Amen. Anybody else tonight? My God. Amen, amen. We're not going to tear. I want to thank each and every one of you that got on the prayer line tonight. Amen. We, we're traveling, and, and uh, um, we, we just thank God. We thank God for your, your, your prayers. Uh, uh, we're going to be right back on the prayer line. We, we'll be doing it from the hotel, but we're going to be right back on the prayer line again tomorrow night, and, 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 and we, we try not to let it fall. Wherever we go, the prayer ministry goes with us. So please join us tomorrow night, if you will. We're going to continue to pray. Again, the Lord said all this week, be intercessors. Uh, uh, just, just intercede, 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 intercede. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But I want y'all to know that we love you. We love y'all with the love of Christ. And that love is unconditional. Y'all have a blessed evening. Good night. This morning, I was feeling kind of down Cause I went to bed with a problem A solution could not be found I thought that I could run away But then it smacked me in my face I was hoping it would stop, but it did not See, if I'm gonna have to deal with this God, you must take control of this Cause I have no more tears to fall my pillow and sheets done soaked them all. I get down on my knees to pray, but the storm in my side won't go away. I am drained and I'm so weak. God, I know you're listening to me. I know you hear me. Even though I know you hear me. I can't I see know you. Hear me. I know you hear me when I pray. And even though I, know I get a little weak. God, 
you may feel like you all alone and life is hard what am i supposed to do which way should i choose if i go left what's right see i'm just making ends meet barely got enough to feed my family and we ain't got a steak on the grill but a dining room table full of bills as i sit here to go through i see the repos coming soon bad news i seem to earn i ask you god when's my turn can you hear me can you hear me can you feel me Don't 
this journey knows what I've gained.
You're listening to Midweek Praise on the TMA Radio Show. Now I'm breaking down. I want to make it over, but I don't know how. My heart is screaming and my faith is gone. I'm barely breathing, but I'm holding on. I'm so broken, numb to the pain. Lifeless, hopeless, I feel ashamed. Seem to break these chains I just need about two or three To tell me, call his name Oh, pray for me, pray for me I feel like giving up right now Pray for me, pray for me Lord, spare your child Pray for me, pray for me I need to know that someone cares Pray for me, pray for me Standing in the need of prayer I don't need the money I need your help. I feel my life is ending. I need your prayer. Could somebody call on Jesus to save me from myself? I've never been here before. Please help me. I'm so broken. Numb to the pain. Lifeless, hopeless. I feel so ashamed. Seem to break these chains. I just need about two or three. Help me call his name. Oh, pray for me, pray for me. I feel like giving up right now. Pray for me, pray for me. Lord, please spare your child. Pray for me, pray for me. I need to know that someone cares. Weather forecast tonight, we're looking at a low of 70 degrees, chance of thunderstorm. Thursday, partly cloudy, high of 90, with a low of 71. And Friday, partly cloudy, high of 90, with a low of 73. And that's your two-day and a half forecast. Amen. For those that tune in in the beginning, we want to thank you for tuning in tonight. We pray that you had a wonderful, blessed day today. And we started off the show with just tuning in to a friend of mine, Apostle Branch, um, his prayer line tonight. And that was, we, we did get a little bit late start tonight. But we know that sometimes when we work, we get home late. We know that sometimes things start late. Sometimes we never know. But we going to continue to do the broadcast. If we're late, we're late. But we know we're going to still do it for you, my listeners. But we just thank God for being in the house tonight. And we thank God for all of you listening all across this world. Because God is, is, a, is a God that loves us. God, he's a God that supply our needs. He's a God that continue to 
give us grace, continue to give us mercy in spite of the things that we may say, we may do, we how we may act. We might act funny sometimes. We might act like we don't want to be deal with people, even in our own ministries. But we just thank God that he is not like man and that he will forgive us in spite of. And look at how God forgives us and you still mad with your sister. You still mad with your brother. And you don't want to even look their way. You know, I, I'm not telling you that, that, you know, we ought to find a way to mend things if we can. Now, granted, all the every time is not, uh, uh, sometimes it comes to a point that we can't uh, uh, mend it. Or, or we at least try to go to a person and, and ask for forgiveness or try to work things out. But it, sometimes it's just the other person and, and, or at least you try. And, and I want to encourage you to at least go. Even if you don't get an answer, even if you if it don't come out the way you think it should come out, you need to release that from you. Take it from your spirit and then you put the ball in the other person's court and allow them to either dribble or, or, or whatever the time expire or whatever they're going to do. But at least you listeners need to try to make it right with those that we may have had issues or problems or, or we didn't agree and we don't want to speak to one another. It is time out for that. You know, we uh, sometimes we all going to uh, disagree. We ain't the same person. I mean, God didn't make a copy of me. Uh, amen. He didn't make a copy of you and the identical you that talk the same and think the same and act the same. He didn't make uh, another you. He made you an original. He made me an original. So Therefore, you got to realize that you have to be sometimes the bigger person and go and say, brother, you know, we had this argument. We, we disagreed, but I love you. You know, we ought to be able to still be able to break bread, even if we don't agree. You know, see, that's get, we all have different personalities. And, and you know, uh, uh, I tell you like this, sometimes you, you, it words you so bad. And even even if you have a relationship and you're married and you have a disagreement and y'all act like y'all don't want to talk, you act like you're just going to be mad with each other. But but something in your spirit, even if you feel like you're wrong or even, excuse me, even if you feel like you're right, you go to that person and say, you know, I'm sorry. You know, I, I want you to forgive me. And now you put that on the other person. And so we need to realize that, that, you know, we can humble ourselves and it hurts sometimes, especially when you know you ain't done nothing wrong and, and you got now you got to go and apologize. But guess what? That just allow you to realize that you have a much better growth. Amen. Than than what you think. Amen. Because, you know, uh, sometimes it just takes that other person just to break the ice you know or you want to be an icebreaker or you want to be one that continue to keep things all hard and and, and separated and divided and uh, are you one of those people or are you one of those people are you peacemakers and peace you want peace amen a peace in your uh, uh surrounding in your life are you one that want peace or are you one that want to hold stuff and, and what if you're holding something and then here you are you want God to forgive you, but you can't even forgive your brother, or your sister. You you know what I'm talking about. We ain't crazy. We got good sense. And I'm telling you right now, this might be for somebody that they need to go and forgive or go and say, you know what? I made a mistake. You know, I shouldn't have talked to you that way. I want to apologize. And because that not only uh, 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 make, does something for your spirit, but but it also helps the other person's spirit because they going they could come back and say, well, you know, it, it really wasn't your fault, and I want to apologize, man. It was it was all me. You see how that or But you over there mad, they over there mad, and nobody want to give in, and y'all ain't gonna speak to each other. But before y'all were ace boom coon, y'all were riding around, y'all was chilling. You can have uh, a dinner together. You can go out and play on the baseball team, the basketball team, the softball. It, in a mirrors team or the co-ed team and y'all can do all the stuff you can communicate you can talk every day and you can talk every week and you can love each other and you can yada 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 and you get upset then you act like you never know the person and i've been that way too but you know what i had to really humble myself and go to people that I, even though i know they made a uh, made the mistake to me i had to go back and apologize and it's like look man if i did something to you i'm sorry and um, then they'll look at you and say, well, man, it, it was it wasn't you, man. It was me. I was having a bad day. I'm sorry, man. You know, now y'all done broke the ice and look at you. 
back talking about stuff, man. You see how it works. But when y'all want to stay mad at each other and then y'all continue to run your lip, that's when it really escalates into your spirit. You building, you building something up in your spirit. And you don't even realize it. That's why I'm telling every listener that you ought to find in your heart, even if you're not the person that did the, the doing. You got to go and break break peace. Let's go ahead and read the word of God tonight, uh, starting with Roman the 12th chapter and the 6th verse. I'm reading from the uh, King James version, to, version tonight. It says, Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. Each one of us have a different gift that God, amen, has gave us. Hallelujah. God says, Having then gifts differing. That not all of us are going to have the same gift. But, but we thank God. If he has stored gifts in you, we thank God. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given unto us, whether prophecy. There will be some people that's, that, that have prophecy. When God speaks, he gives prophecy. A amen. You know, if I, God give me something to speak into a person in, in, into their life or, or if God show me something about a person, it ain't me. I can't see through I can't see what they're dealing with. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, we might see somebody that we know next door that are struggling, and they might tell you, man, yeah, I'm, I'm, I lost my job. You know, you might know that. But when God gives you something in your spirit, and you tell that person what it was that God revealed, that person have confidence, have, have, have a, a, a assurance that it's the word of God, that, that God gave you that because you can tell, you can really tell. And, and, and so whether it's prophecy, let us prophesy according to the uh, portion of faith. Let us prophesy. Let us prophesy. Now, this is for those that sit in ministry for 50 years and don't even believe that there, there's prophets. How in the world? Man, y'all just don't, y'all have no idea. I mean, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm not t making this stuff up. I, I see folk, I listen to people, and a lot of people going to church today don't even believe in prophet, prophecy. They don't believe in a prophetic word. And, 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 but they'll read this book. This, this is in the New Testament here. This is Romans. And it says, let us what? Prophesy. Now, I don't, I don't know if, they, if it's in the, their Bible, but it's in my Bible. And, it, and, and the word is true. It said, let us prophesy according to the, to the proportion of faith and, you know however your however level whatever level your faith is amen amen hallelujah whatever your faith level is <laughs> that's that, how much power you, how much power and anointing you you, you get how, uh, how how much be belief you believe in the spirit of the holy ghost is how much you're gonna be able to be work how how much god gonna be able to work through you and how much you believe and how much faith you have that, that regardless of what the doctor said, uh, Mother Mabel is, is going to live. And, and I don't care what the doctor give, uh, uh, how many days the doctor gave her. I believe according to his word that, that, that we are to lay hands on the sick and the sick recover. Uh, 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 we believe that the, that we ain't gonna be called and, until God is ready. I don't care what the doctor say. And I know some people out here that went to the doctor. Doctor gave them six months and they live six years. We all the guy, We got to understand that when is our time? Is our time? I don't care what how if you're in the great shape of your life. If it's your time, is your time. You know, people, we all we all can do better get, getting in shape, and I know I can. But there's people that are healthier than you and I dying. You understand? So, you know, yes, we should eat right. And yes, we should exercise. And yes, you know, we want to eat, treat our bodies, our temples right. Yes. But but don't sit and act like that just because you ain't got to the perfect fit of an Olympic runner that, that all of a sudden you're going to die because you ain't in a greatest shape. It helps us be, that we keep our temples strong, but, but it, we ain't going to die until God uh, calls us. So here, here, and I'm going back to Romans. That's Romans 12 and 7. It says, our ministry, oh, excuse me, or ministry. Let's see. Let's go back up here. Uh, let us prophesy. Whether, let us prophesy. Let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith 
or ministry. Let us wait on our ministering or he that teaches on teaching. God's going to tell us when to go. You know, sometimes we move and maneuver too quick. And I believe that and when I get a word, it's going to be a word. And, and man, sometimes want to rush it. They, they, you know, they, they, they waiting and patient. You know, well, I've been waiting all, I've been waiting for 30 days. Well, well you know what? When, right when you want to give up on the 31st day, it's next, the first of next month, the breakthrough is about to come, but you done gave up. You ought not to be so weary and, and don't be so impatient because when you have to, uh, 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 expect in the word, sometimes the word come quickly and sometimes you got to wait on the word. That's what we're telling you. It's God time, not our time, people. God's time. So here... Uh, let us wait on our ministering or he that teaches on teaching or he that exhorteth on exhortation and he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. Uh, he that ruleth with diligence, he that swear sueth mercy, excuse me, show of mercy with cheerfulness, cheerfulness. You ought to be glad and happy to forgive somebody. You don't want to be mad. You don't be mad. Why would you want to be mad? Do you want God to be mad at, at you when you, you go before him? And he show you your whole life story? Well, then you want to be, uh, 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 you want to show mercy. You got to show mercy. This is going back to what I was saying earlier that, that we, we sometimes we be friends with folk and then next thing you know, we have a disagreement. Next thing you know, you don't talk to each other. But for months, y'all were talking every day. Months, y'all were talking every week. But now you got upset with each other because you disagree or, 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 you, or you really didn't understand or the communication wasn't wasn't laid out clearly or, or you know, you didn't receive the, the communication in, 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 in the same manner it was intended, but, but you took it the wrong way. And, and now you upset. Or, or now you confused in your mind And now you're angry And now you don't want to talk to the sister no more Now you don't want to talk to the brother no more But here it says show mercy Let us show mercy With cheerfulness We ought to be glad that, that, that we, we're humbled enough That we can say with a smile I, I forgive you I love you man I love you sister Amen Hallelujah And, and 2 Timothy uh, for 1 and 6 Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gifts of God. You got to stir up the gifts of God. Stir up meaning I got to have some kind of action in place to be able to stir something up. I can't sit here with a dead spirit like God ain't did nothing for me. I got to, I'm got i sitting there with like lemons. Uh, um, I've been sucking on lemons all day or, or I'm, I'm mad with the world and, and I don't have no friend and, 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 and I just can't stand nothing. I can't sit there. And know the word like I know the word. How can people sit in ministry with sour puss lips and faces and, and act like they, they serve the same God? We got to stir up something in order for us to know and, and let other people know that, that, that we are living. Amen. And God is, is who we're praising. We ain't praising man. We praising God, but we ought not to be sitting like we're lonely. We ought not to be sitting like we 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 are good to bear a body or a loved one. We ought to be rejoicing in the Lord. We ought to be happy when we see strangers coming to the house. We ought to be so happy that we thank God that this day somebody might yield and say, "I want to be saved." This day, somebody want to turn their life around. That's why you can't sit there and look crazy and like you don't want to be bothered. That's why people can't come up to you and, and say, hey, Sister Margaret. Hey, Sister Sally. How y'all doing today? Because you got a don't talk to me look on your face. What you are doing, what are you doing? When the Bible is letting us know that uh, we ought to be stirring up the gifts, the, the gift of love. God gives us the spirit of love. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, wherefore, I, I, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gifts of God, which in thee, which in thee by putting on of my hands. In other words, uh, I got to put the trust and have faith that when I lay hands, that 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 the spirit is that God has has placed in me is transferred to the person that, that I'm touching and, and and that he is doing the healing. He is doing the changing. He is doing the encouraging and the uplifting. 
but he using me. <laughs> he using the men and women of God. <laughs> yes, uh, 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 which is uh, NZ by putting on by uh, of my hands, putting on of my hands. Amen. Stir up the gifts of God. Uh, we we got too many sit downers, you know. And, and I imagine that if 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 President Obama went to some of these churches in this area that I'm in and, and and around the world, some of these little small churches around here, oh, people will just stand up when he had to tell them to stand up. They will be so excited. The President of the United States of America in their church. But when the man of God asks you if you will stand to your feet and give God some praise, and you say, I, ain't, I can praise him at home. We are to do things in togetherness. We are to do things to uplift God together. Don't you realize that when the children of Israel, uh, in, when they left bondage, they was together. They worshiped God. They, when they cried out, God came. You see? We got the crowd together. We got to praise him together. You know, you know what? It would be a sad football team or in a sad basketball team if the team is doing good and nobody cheers. They got plenty of spectators and fans, but 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 nobody cheers, huh? Or when they losing, nobody encourage them to come on team, come on, let's go fight, come on warriors, let's go, let's go. If they didn't have fans to encourage them that they can come from behind and win the game, it, it, or they, if they can, they can get some encouragement from their fans, that they, they, they might get a few turnovers, and, and next thing you know, they back in the game where, where you need to be on the team that's praising a, a God that had forgave them and praising a God that's continued to bless Amen. In spite of what's going on around us, you need to be on the same team that's going to lift up the name of Jesus. Because when somebody coming in broken down and feel like they're in the fourth quarter, they losing the battle. You need to be on a cheering side that say, this is the God that we serve. I once was in the same fourth quarter. I was once having a bad time in my life. But I thank God that he's thought enough about me. To, to touch my life and to, to fix my situation. And, and that's why we ought to praise God together. That's why when we got people coming in into the hospital, amen, the spiritual hospital, amen, people ought to be able to see that there is something that they believe and, and, and they want to see and understand what they are happy for. And I come in here all mad and my life feel like it's in shambles and everything is just falling apart. Why are they so happy? And, and, and then when they, they get this, when the spirit of God get them moving around in the, in the house. And then they begin to understand. And when the word come forth, that stuff they're dealing with begin to break away. That deadness begin to break away. And some, their eyes begin to, to start to open up and they begin to look differently, like looking into a, a, a sun, a bright sun coming out with your eyes have been closed for a, a, a day or two. And you can't hardly see it's so bright. And but then your eyes tune and everything so beautiful. That's how it will be when people come in, toe up and, and messed up and they will see people praising and, and loving the same God together. Yes, we can pray God anywhere in our cars. We can pray in our houses, but when we come together and, and have unity, we ought to be able to lift our hands. Some might be lifting their hands, but some mother might be there shaking her leg, praying to God and thanking God. But there ought to be evidence that something in your life lets the people know that there is God in your life and that you know who he is. Hey man, we got to, we got, we got to stir up the gift. A God. And as uh, here in the word it says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear. I don't care who president. I ain't going to just go and want to kill myself because the person that I voted for or the person that I thought should be president didn't make it. I, we got, we're going to still live our life. And, and, and if you believe, and this is time now, that if you believe, it's time. Because we, it don't matter if Trump, if Trump get it, then hey, 
I still serve a God <laughs> that's able. I still serve a God that's going to protect me, my family, my friends, my neighbors, people in this world. He going to still be in charge. So I don't care who they got. You need to know that, 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 that sometimes rulers be in place to get people to come back to the unction of God and, and praising him and turn away from that mess and that wickedness. Sometimes that happens. If they're an enemy of God, they're an enemy of us. You need to realize that. So why we up here acting like, you know, yes, we pray for people. But if they are enemy of God, then it's, they, they are our enemy. That's rough, but it's rough. Bible tells us that if a man don't work, he don't eat. That's rough too. But you sitting here want to look at people strange when we say we, we want a, a good, healthy man, want to beg and ask for money. He could get a job. It's jobs. It's stuff out there. If you believe God to open the door up, he'll open it. I'm not talking about somebody that's that that, that that fell down on their luck and they are uh, and they praying and the mama done lost their husband and, and, and she won't work and the husband was breaking bringing home all the bread and she's been crying out to God. She's been faithfully praying and crying out to God. You ought to go see about her. I'm not talking about nobody that's gonna take your money and go buy that next fix and or buy that next alcohol that next uh look or alcohol. I'm not talking about them. We can't be a part of that problem. If somebody say they hungry or somebody asks for a couple of dollars, say, well, what do you need it for, my brother? You Are you hungry? And they say, no, I want to go up here and get me some cigarettes. Now I want to go get me some drink. No! It's people's time to start using some judgment. And that's they're going to talk about you. I thought, he was going, I thought he was in church. I thought she was in church. She ain't no better than nobody else. Right? When you don't do nothing, they won't. That's what they say. <laughs> that's what exactly they say. You can't, you ain't, and that's another thing. You know, I'm learning, I'm learning a, a day by day because I don't know everything. I, I, I speak when God tells me to speak. I, I give a word when, when God places it on my heart. But you know what? I was thinking this and I was going to write it earlier before the show, you know, put it on my social media page. But people got to realize people use you. And you know what? I, I, I'm just I'm learning that people been know. So I'm, I got some a lot of friends. I got a lot of people I, I know me in the area that I live in, uh, Raleigh, uh, Durham, and Greensboro, Winston Salem, man. I, and and I, ain't, I ain't popular like you know popular, but I know a lot of people everywhere. Whether I met them years ago and they you know, but I, I met a lot of people in my life. I'm talking about lots of people from Inglewood, New Jersey, where. My hometown, from here to North Carolina to Georgia, I mean Florida, everywhere I meet people, and I, and, I, and and thank God for my personality to me. But I, but I'm what I want to say tonight is, you know, when we on the ground flow, and we are clawing to do business, we are clawing to to we working hard to to do uh, uh to build business, to do things, to work in ministry, to build ministry, and, and, and to like me have this radio show to go forth. People don't want to help you when you crawling and scratching and clawing and and, and and keep moving and you're struggling and you're sweating and you're trying. You keep trying and, and you need help to grow this thing and people are looking and you reach calling out and, and even your preacher, some of your pe people that you know uh, 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 that's in leadership and, and they looking around and, and, and at you and they you even done some stuff for them on their behalf, didn't even charge them anything, but they haven't even yet to come on your side and say, you know, I, I see you've been doing this for, uh, you've been steady and you've been on course doing it for a long time. And, you know, I, I want to just be a blessing in, in, into your life. And I'm not just talking about me. Because because when God when God break break it, when he get ready to, that, that look, when that blessing break loose, it's going to break loose. But what I want to tell you is, 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 is don't, don't be coming trying to be my friend when you see me up there. When you, when, when you see God done bless. And, and 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 you know I'm working in the community. I'm I'm helping people. And, and, and I, man, things is great. Hell, hell come, how had it come now? Hell come everybody that you done reached out to, because now you're in a position to help them with something that they really want to do. 
not when you I was on my knee crawling for it. Not when I was just I was tired and at one point I wanted to give up, but I kept fighting. You didn't help me then, but when you saw the elevation and the blessings of God came and manifested itself. And now I got buildings and now I'm helping people. Now people are being, be, oh man, God is coming in and touching. And, and now, now I got finances to be able to travel to different states and help folk and, and, and all this stuff. And, and now I'm not the only one because there's some other people out here that's, that's doing something. I know a sister now that got, that she got a, 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 a ministry and accessory prayer. People know you've been do working and you're trying and you you doing and and why do we you know what sometimes when you hear people doing stuff just don't just uh uh uh, uh wait till they ask for it you know so so some people don't they don't want to they want when you buy the house when you buy the house and and buy the new car and and, and you being blessed hey they come not when you scuffling not when you eating uh, uh pork and beans and, and bean and weenies and stuff like that and oodles and noodles they don't want to come by but what well, when you can eat house the hog but but you it ain't that you being puffed up it's not that you that you better than nobody but god has finally broken the blessing seal for you and here they come now want to want to be a part of something no hey look I'm going to love you, but don't be using us like that. Don't be using us like that. And we got plenty of people. They don't want to help nobody but themselves, and they they manage, they want to help now. But I'm going to tell you right now, I've gotten more help from now, my new friends, which was once strangers, than people I've known from kindergarten on up. Now, I granted, I've had down the years a couple of wonderful sisters uh, from different nationalities. You hear me? that was able to donate to this broadcast. And what we was able to do was help some families uh, when they was in need. Nothing to, nothing to, to build it for the show, but just to help in, in, in the community. You see what I'm saying? To help some mothers and help some, some kids in the community so, so they can have something or, or at least help so they, they won't have to worry about that extra portion that they need to get over. You see what I'm saying? That's what it was. That's what it's about. You know, that's what it's about. It ain't, ain't nobody trying to get rich. You know, I'm not no con artist. You, you, a lot of them that, 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 that see me and know me in this community and, and have met me, they felt my spirit because I'm not like that. I'm not like that at all. But we got some fakers out here on TV and y'all loving them up. You're sending your money and, and in return, your, your own community is dying. Children hungry. And you got people like uh, uh, this radio broadcast and you got prayer lines that could use your money to help, really help people in the community. But you go give it to somebody on TV and they, they shucking and jiving, talking about they going to send you a rock from the Holy Land and it's going to heal you. The devil's a liar. Uh, I didn't, you know, I'm just, this is from somebody because, you know, we got too many people want to, want to, uh, um, you know, just, they just want to be on your team when you're doing good. I, I want, I want, I want to, uh, uh, I want you to, to fight with me. I want you to build with me. I want you to be crawling around and, and, and we, we lifting up together and, and we look back. And then we helping people that 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 look like us that that once was lost and now they found it and and, and and you know what look back and help somebody else and, and have business seminars and and I got God has given me so many ideas, boy I can't even say them all, but I sure can't do them all. I can't do hat. I can't even do. Uh, I, I mean, I I can't even do all of what I'm what, what God gives me. But but God going is placing people in my life that we can help one another. You know, I I want to help your ministry at the same time do, do the ministry that God has given me, and and vice versa. And then we be, come together as one body. As we, we come together, you see, we got to do this thing. We got to think about this thing now. You know, we we ought to be able to pick one once uh, a few months with through the year that, that your ministry and my ministry could come together and, and, and we could come together and, and have a convention or we could come together and, and, and have a beach trip and, and we're going to have a meeting and we're going to empower and inspire people and, and, and we going to love on one another and we're going to do stuff as a family and in and all the states you see what i'm saying and, and so Y'all, I hope you really listen to some of the stuff I'm saying tonight, but stir up the gifts of God. Amen. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love. You see, he gave us some power to fight off the evilness. You know, he gave us some power 
to, to, to pray for them that, that do us harm. We got power to, to claim victory over the enemy. And, and not only that, but we got the power to say self to get out the way and, and, and to have uh, forgiveness in our heart that, that we love and of love and of sound mind. See, you, if your mind is right, you're going to forgive and not be mad. And, and see, you got, I learned that I, I, you know, just because you might be mad with Jim and Jack, it might be upset with each other and they might not talk to each other. But, but, but me and Jim friends now, now, now Jack, now we friends too. But, but, but let me tell you this, I'm not mad with neither one of you. So why I got to pick and why they got to decide? No, I'm going to continue to be friends with both of y'all. Y'all see, understand what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and I pray that you and Jack, you, Jim, Jack, Hey, you guys work it out. But, but, but see, I, y'all, Jack, you ain't did nothing to me and Jim, you ain't did nothing to me. So, so Jack, don't try to persuade me to go against Jim and Jim, don't you try to persuade me to go against Jack because God give me a sound mind. You understand that? And, and ain't nobody mad with me. I'm the, I'm the uh, referee on the outside. I'm biased. I'm going to love you. And, and so if you get mad with me for talking to Jim, Jack, I'm sorry. I'm going to love you. Or Jack or Jim, you know, either one. <laughs> if you upset with me because I love either one of y'all, uh, uh, that's something y'all need to work out. But, 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 but neither one of y'all did anything to me. So why I'm going to be upset? You see, this is teaching, you know, and, and God gives us teaching. Sometimes, you know, I, I like to holler sometimes, you know, but it ain't about hollering all the time. It ain't about, it ain't about, mm, it ain't about all that. Mm, yeah. Uh-huh. And sometimes you got to just teach this thing here and, and people get a better uh, uh, understanding. So here we, God give us the, this not give, has not given us the spirit of, of, of fear, uh, uh, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Now listen to the, uh, this one here. It says, uh, 1 Corinthians tw- uh, 13 and 2. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries, excuse me, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity. <laughs> what is saying here? I'm going to read that again. And though I have the gift of prophecy, you have the gift of a prophetic word. Uh, uh, and though I have the gift of prophecy, I can speak things into people's life and I see things because God revealed it. Uh, uh, and though I have the gift of prophecy and, under, and understand all mysteries, I understand what the Spirit is saying, and all knowledge, I know what God is telling you and telling me. And and though I have all faith, I believe in the power of the anointing. <laughs> I believe that the spirit of God uh, can heal you. <laughs> I have all faith without a shadow of doubt. I know he lives. And though I have all faith so that I could remove mountain. Whatever blocking me, I demand you remove now. Whatever is holding up my finances, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Mountain, get thee behind me. I'm going to walk through. If you're standing there, just get knocked over because I'm not going to stop because I have faith enough in God that he's in my front and he's in my back. I believe in that God, that he's going to make a way out of no way. So remove yourself from me, this thing that, that's in my way. I have all faith so that I could remove mountains. But listen now. And have not charity. I am nothing. If I have all these things. I can lay hands. The gift of speaking in tongues. uh, The gift of prophecy. If I have all these things. But have not love. Listen. I am nothing. <laughs> that, that's, that's in your Bible. That's scripture. That's word. So I don't care if you can speak in, in tongues. And God has given you a prophetic word. 
uh, 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 uh. But if you have not charity, if, if you have not love in your heart, <laughs> then, then you ain't nothing. If I don't have that in my spirit to love, I am nothing. You understand what the words say? That's 1 Corinthians 12 and 2. Go back and read it for yourself. Go back and read it for yourself. And this has been the word tonight because we got to have love. In order for us to work the work of the Lord, we have to have love. So why are you you and Jim, Jack, why are you mad at Jim? Jim, why are you tripping on, on, on Jack? Why are y'all tripping? Mary, why are, you, why are you tripping on Martha and Martha? You and Mary need to get together and, 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 and love one another. Matter of fact, let's get on our knees right now and call upon the name of the Lord and, 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 and break that yoke and break that, that bondage, that baggage. Huh? You understand? This is what we need to be doing. We need to be teaching. It's, it, it, you know, I, I was listening, man. I was listening. And uh, uh, a matter of fact, one of my friend, Pastor uh, uh, Branch, uh, made a comment. And I think I've said this thing, man, some years ago on my broadcast. You go into the church and, and the preacher preaching and you leave out the same. I'm talking about not just, a, I'm not talking about one individual. I'm talking about folk. You got people because they talking. They come up in that church looking for a word and they and they leave out the same way. I see it's too many times this going on. You know, I, I see people and I'm not calling no names, so nobody can say, Oh, you judging XYZ. I haven't called a name. And I, I believe in I believe in, in, in to to do and doing things in decent and in order. So when I'm talking about something, I, I, God gives us insight to see what's going on to speak on. You see what I'm talking about? How can you talk about prostitution if you ain't witnessing it? How can you talk on sin if you're not seeing it? You understand? We ain't no judge. I can't judge nobody because a judge going to judge me. But I can preach on the, on the gospel and preach on the word of what I see in the community. I can do that. How do you think that people in how do you think that that, they, that Paul going to the churches telling them what they need to do if they, and nobody saw them doing anything wrong? Or, or, or how can they go the, the disciples go out in different cities and go back to Jesus and say, well, they doing this and that wrong. And then they go and try and, and teach it right. How can they if, if they can't look at it, how are they going to teach on it? So, yes, I see it. I see the same people that look like mothers in the church. They sit over there with the mother and cuss like sailors and ain't got no God on the inside of them because they wouldn't be acting crazy like the world when as soon as they leave out of church. That's why people can't get healed in the streets. Now they could get healed, but we perverting it. We perverting it because we don't want to live. You got these people that say, yeah, because you stay in the hood and you go to church every Sunday. You ought to be, there are some ought to be in, uh, different in your life. But what happened is they, we don't stop preaching on it. And therefore, if we don't preach on it, then you don't never hear it. It don't never convict you. But if we preach on it and teach on it, it convicts you because you remember you heard it. You understand? See, that's why people don't have a ear, uh, uh, they don't have it because they can't, you know, they ain't got nothing to add on. See, if I hear a word, see, see, I, I not only preach to people, but but I love when someone, when I hear preaching. Because I can contest, amen, to the word. And, and I like sound and hard preaching because because I can contest that, yes, amen, amen, amen means that it is so. So I, I can I can contest that I, I, I can, I can, I can Hey, I can agree that the word, that is a word. Now, if if it's something that I need to to adjust, it's gonna deal. Some, it's gonna say something to my spirit. You see, if, if I hear preaching that's being preached, and, and if something I done that won't right, it, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna tangle with my spirit. It's gonna make me feel uh, uh, some type of way, and, and, and it's gonna make me have a repentance heart. If if I love God, if I, I'm gonna do what I say I'm gonna do, uh, if I made somebody upset, then it's gonna it's gonna tell my spirit that I need to make it right. That's only if you say what you say you are. If you say you're a believer in God and you believe in the Word, then why are you tripping? Why are you acting funny? You know, we all have that moment. I, I, I can't act. You know, listen, I might have a look on my face, but that's because I'm talking to God in my fa in my mind. See, I, I learned that if I say something, uh, once it's said, it, I can't take it back. So I got, boy, I, I tell you, I ain't, I ain't telling you I'm perfect. 
Because sometimes I have to say, Lord, I rebuke myself in the name of Jesus. Lord, I rebuke that thought. Ain't nobody, you know, sometimes people, you know, when you, when you, when, when you get to talk about sins, the first thing people in, in today's society think, oh, you done, you done, you done messed around with, with someone, you done had sex with somebody. You know, that's the only, when somebody says so-and-so done sin, and that, that's the first thing they think of is, is you done did, is, you know, had sexual relationship with somebody. They don't, they don't think that it just, it could come by just thinking a, a, a thought. But they don't. They they think it's you. You had to physically uh, uh, mess with somebody to to the yeah, hell. Pastor done messed up. He he done did something. He done you know uh, hurt. He done he done fell short. He done seen first thing to come in mind. Wonder who he done messed with. He done cheated on his wife. Y'all know that. Y'all y'all know I'm telling the truth. I'm serious tonight. Y'all we we dealing with we dealing with a lot of issues at hand in America and around the world. We dealing with 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 racism, and and and, and I'm, well I should say race racial acts. Uh, we we are dealing with racial racial tension. We are dealing with a demonic spirit that's is loose in our streets. Uh, we're dealing with a lot, but we are dealing with 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 men and women each and every week going to church and living a lie outside the church. Now, what you do under your house between you and God, I don't know. But see, when you mess around and do it in the street, you let everybody see what you're doing, and you confusing folk. Now, yes, we all got some stuff we need to work on. Every, nobody's perfect. Every day we need to be praying, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for the things that I've done and for the things I may not be aware of. God, I need you to touch me now. And, and see, that and that lets us know, that, 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 get, that matter of fact, that, 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 that assures that connection with God. That assures. See, some, don't, don't, don't pull the plug. Don't pull the plug out, out of the line. Don't, don't get no business signal. Have you ever needed to use a phone in emergency and, and then all you got was bump, 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 bump. And you got an emergency and all you hear is bump, 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 bump. You don't want to uh, uh, disconnect your, your line to God. You want to keep that line plugged up because in case of emergency, you want to be able to have your line clear. And, and, and you don't want to be just, and, and not only that, but you don't want to be a person that, that you only you only go to God when you need something or, or when you, you're back against the wall. You need to go to him when things are great and when things are not so great. You need to go to him daily and weekly. Amen. Go to him Talk to him. Thank you. And say grace over your food. Thank you for, for this food, Lord. So many times we eat so quick. I mean, I, I mean, you know, I'm telling y'all. I, I used to be one of them people. I got to pray with my food. Take my hat off and give God respect. Because a man that pray with a hat, cut his head covered, disrespect to the Lord. That's in the scripture. Now, that, that's why I take my hat off. People, y'all y'all see me taking my hat off. People, Some people don't even know that. They don't even know that. You disrespect God when you pray men. With your head covered. And then somebody got a problem with me saying that. You know. People always try to uh, be, have problems with what the, the men and women of God say. But I'm going to tell you that. Praying with our head covered. Uncovered men. Is right. Well, you know it's right. Because you know. You know and, and, and for those that are listening that, that, that don't think so. You know, and, and I don't want to give a man more than I give God. And you would disrespect people and they will look at you sideways when you go to a, a high school game or a college game. And they and they send the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and you sitting there with your hat on. Don't you go to a baseball game and see everybody take their hat off and put their hat in their right hand over their heart. Don't y'all see that? Witness it next time if you haven't win. Look at the baseball game on TV if you can get if you can look at it early if if you can catch it when they're doing the press release and you watch around the stadium but and, and them jokers done took their hats off. So I, I, I hey, but I take my hat off to to because I re understand the word and the word says that a man <laughs> that prayeth with his head covered dis disrespect God and himself. I mean, something people act like we we don't want you know. I I I believe some tradition is good. If if it if it's the tradition of the Bible, then it's good. Now I ain't talking about the tradition of man, but I'm talking about the tradition of 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 of, of God. If it's the tradition of the Bible that which we should be teaching. See, we fell out of that. We fell out of that. Y'all y'all know where that y'all y'all can. I, I I just said enough. <laughs> we go. 
we we're gonna continue, but I'm I'm serious because God is is on time God and He's able to take care of your needs and He gives us power, He gives us spiritual gifts, He gives us of uh, the anointing. God God spoke into my spirit uh, a couple Sundays ago. I was preaching at a church and um just to go hug the brother. Brothers, it was a it was a few brothers back there, but I, it was just one in particular that, that the spirit drove me to. And, and when I went there, God gave me what to say. And that man cried because, it, and I heard him overhear him whispering to somebody about what, what God had did that day. When you get into the spirit of God and, and when, you, when God has taken over, a move of God, you, well, I tell you, it's, it's no experience like it. But total praise right now on the TMA radio show. Praise God for he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's mighty worthy to be praised. Come on, let's lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for midweek praise. We thank God for getting us over the hump, hump day. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word, the scripture tonight. For those that just tune in, if you missed the first part, you can listen to it when I finish the broadcast. If y'all want to have a uh, listening now, if you want to say something, 919-521-4741. Or you can hit up the instant message uh, board. It's open now. Just send me a shout out. If you like the shows, like what I'm doing, or you just want to send some love to me, hit me up on the instant message uh, board. Whenever I'm live, no matter when I'm live, whenever you see the red icon and it says live, go ahead on type away. Encourage others to, to uh, send us some messages because there's people out here that, lead, that li listen, that look, that look at it, that read it. So we, we want to do that. Uh, do that if you will. For favor, this is my season to reap what I have sown. This is my season for grace, for favor. Yeah. This is my season to reap what I have sown. I haven't been perfect, but I show sure been faithful. See, God's got a purpose, yes, and I know He's evil. I've got to see in the ground that He's blessing, no more stressing. I've got to see in the ground. Now I'm knowing and it's showing my seeds for grace, for favor. It only works when we all do it. To do what? To reap what I have sown. Come on, you say, This is my season for grace. For what else? For favor. This is my season to reap what I have sown. Everything is working together for my good. Say it, church. Everything is working. Don't feel good. But it's working for my good. Say it again, y'all. Everything. For grace, for I need somebody to prophesy with your body language. Just say, What you say? God is leaning in my direction. Don't prophesy. I said he's leaning. In whose direction? In my direction. Come on, you ain't no me to say it. You gotta say it. Say it. He's leaning. In my direction. In my direction. Cause 
Hey man, I had to put my. <laughs> I called her. She, she, um, I know she wasn't expecting. She didn't even know who number this was. But some every once in a while, we have to just let our spouses know we love them, and and they can give encouraging words to someone. She said, L "Keep your head up, and trust in God." And that's what we got to do, people. That's that. That's the whole. That's the whole key to your your problem, your situation. That's your answer. Praying and and talking to God. All right, my radio listeners all over in Wendell, Raleigh, Durham, and all other surrounding areas, the Circle of Love Prayer Partners will be having their seventh year anniversary. 
And the place location will be Pleasant Grove Baptist Church in Wendell. That's 952 Morpheus Bridge Road, Wendell, North Carolina. That's Morpheus, uh, Morpheus Win uh, Bridge Road, Wendell, North Carolina. That's 9 952 Morpheus Bridge Road, Wendell, North Carolina, Present Grove Baptist Church. Seven, uh, uh, I think the time might be 7 o'clock, but I'm going to, I was looking through this email here. But either way, we need preachers. We need pastors. And and me and, and, and Pastor uh, 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 Mason and, and Pastor Young have already committed to donate uh, to this uh, Circle of Love uh, prayer partners. And, and see what they what what and I'm a part of it, uh, one of one of the uh, the members. And, and what we're doing, you know, for the sister, uh, we we're, we're asking pastors because we are the first, we are the first uh, partaker. We got to be the we got to be the one to set, set we got the one to leave set by the example. We got to set the example. And so uh, uh, what we're doing, let me read this to you. It says uh, here, I, um, hold on, uh, give me, <laughs> I had it, it don't went away. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Got it. Uh, all right. All right. We're sending out this message today in hopes that each of you can help support the Circle of Love Prep Partners. We are celebrating our seventh year in ministry as of August the 10th, 2016. On Friday, August the 19th, 2016 at 7 o'clock, we, uh, we are having an event to focus on the youth of today. With the goal of goal to purchase book bags, supplies, and other items that our children may need going back to school, because we do have some needy families that that and a lot of kids go to school from, uh, don't have a book bag, uh, uh, don't have pencils, and don't have paper, or, uh, or don't have glue, and don't have uh, 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 some some like kindergarten they need they, they need tissue and baby wipes and different things and and sometimes you, other kids got to share because some some kids don't have so we want to be able to help the needy kids out here and, and purchasing book bags and supplies and other stuff that we can help them on their, their going back to school to further their education. And at this event, we, uh, uh, we will present to our uh, local uh, youth, the school supply. And, and so uh, this is what we want to do. All right. And, and whatever is left, we will donate to the TMA radio show to make, uh, make available the, uh, the other youth in need of supplies. You see what's going on? So pastors, preachers, evangelists, we are reaching out to you first. Because as leaders, we set the tone and are the first to lead, you see? So so a, a, as a pastor, as a leader, we got to set the example for people. So if you sitting around there, uh, if you asking for uh, for 100, then you need to be putting 100. <laughs> All right. I'm just, hey, don't, go, don't get quiet on me. Don't get quiet on me. Uh, uh, but, but then you can make your pledge on the GoFundMe page. Uh, it's Circle of Love Prayer Partners GoFundMe, and if those that are on my page, um, uh, you can see it on the, on my feed. Um, the Circle of Love Prayer Partners, you can see it on their feed, and also uh, if you want me to email that to you, just simply email ministeraccuracyshow at gmail dot com, and, and you know we can help these young babies. You, you know, uh, let's help these young babies. You know, sometimes we go out to dinner and spend sixty dollars. Just you and your your wife going out to a restaurant to eat. So surely you can give uh uh, uh twenty five dollars to to go towards, especially pastors. You know, and if we we talk about blessing. We talk about receiving. We talk about being a a, a lender, uh, not the borrower. Then then we need to help. And I don't mind asking for help because if you know a lot of people don't know you need some help. Uh, so I, I'm asking if for this 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 ministry, this uh, Circle of Love Prep Partners ministry, if y'all would donate, pastors, not not you home, <laughs> all right. And so uh, be talking about that again. You can also uh, email uh, the Circle the Circle of Love PP Ministry at Outlook dot com. Again, you can email the Circle of Love PP Ministry at Outlook.com.
So if you can either email ministeraccuratshow at gmail.com and say, hey, I want to donate to these babies, then do it. Do so. If you're listening to me in another country, if you want to donate, then you get on your email and you go ahead and give your gift. You know, we want to be able to sow some seeds. You know, you we got a lot of we got a lot of grain, but we don't we ain't doing no sowing. And, and, and so you got to plow plow into 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 a soil that with your seed that it grow. I'm just going to leave it there. I ain't going to say no more. Because I done said it. Because I know that, you know, when, when God get ready to bless, he going to bless. And when he when He do that thing, and and, and these folks out here, I'll, I'll give their money to the mall before they give you a dime to help with building up something positive. But we praying that God give us exactly everything that we need and ask for. And above. <laughs> That's right. Because he said he will give us uh, blessings that we won't have room enough to receive. So if there ain't room enough for me to receive them, then stop limiting it. But anyway, that's a whole nother teaching in itself. All right, we got one song left for you tonight, and we love you. I need you to survive. I need you to be encouraged. Don't give up. And speak with boldness. Don't be afraid to ask folk for stuff. You know, we, we get, we sometimes we get that. I ain't scared to ask. You, you can't do but two things or, or say two words. Or maybe one word, no. One word, no. Or three word, I can't help now. <laughs> or can't help right now, that's four. All right, but either way, you, you can either say, I, I don't have it. I want to give, but I don't have it. Or you just ain't going to give. But I ask you. And I don't mind asking because I, I, you can't get nothing but, but no. Either no or yes. Or, or, or I can get you another time. It ain't, it, ain't, no, it ain't hard. It ain't hard. And, and if anybody doing something for the for kingdom building, then we need to go and do it. We need to do it. We need to do it. She trying to kingdom build. We doing stuff here on the radio show. And, and so some, and don't let the devil talk to your spirit and say they always asking for money. I ain't always. I ain't. Hey, look, I'm. We're trying to help people. You want to say we, we always asking for money, but you always giving it to the world freely. How many times you you go to these uh, all white parties and stuff? You think that stuff going in there free, but then you want somebody to pray for you. Grandma sick, you want somebody to go up to the hospital and say a word for. Her? That's what we're gonna do anyway. But I'm just saying, don't be using us like a rat, like like a puppet on a string. We need we need some help. Don't but don't talk bad. Don't talk bad in your spirit, because Jay Z and Beyonce, all of them, Maze and all of them. Asking for money all the time. Nicki Minaj, you she got your money, but you ain't, you ain't sending to her. When 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 they when when you go to Ticket Master and click on them tickets, them tickets eighty five dollars. You don't part your lip. But when we ask for a twenty five dollar donation, you you oh lord, whoo, that's too much. It's too much for the building of the God's kingdom to put something in somebody's life that that they may be encouraged. Oh, we 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 get we got to be a right we got to be of a right mind. We got to be of a right mind, sound mind. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful night tonight on this midweek praise. Meet us here tomorrow night between 9 and 10 p.m. Uh, for Thursday night. We'll talk about uh, the circle of love again tomorrow night, and we want you to help. So, I mean, it'd be nice to see uh, seven people email me when I get off. But, you know, we praying. You know, I, I'm trying to get your brothers and sisters to leave me a comment. <laughs> Will you do it? I, I got some faithful ones that give me comments and leave me and encouraging me to, and they enjoy my music and enjoy the broadcast and enjoying the preaching and enjoying the teaching and enjoying when I tune in to uh, other friends and have guest pastors come on the show and give a Bible study. People are enjoying it. Well, well, we want you to know that we need some help to help others. So would you sow your seed and that it be manifested and that it grow? To help better somebody else's life. One last song. I need you to survive. Dedicated to all those that seem like they want to give up. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep walking in faith. Keep talking to God. And know that he'll be right there.
of God's body. It is His will that every need be supplied. You are. I'm 